The Clusterfuck Crusade, Sturkus Ludicrum 3, Shrine World Blues. Ongoing green text saga detailing the conflict between an unreasonable number of factions to dominate a planet in Warhammer 40k. New contributors welcome. Two quick rules. No time travel bullshit. No non-canon slash crossovers. Be me, Billy Collis. Native of this planet and proud veteran of the Bishop's Crusade. This used to be a nice simple planet. It was a place you could raise a family. Then these guardsmen assholes that barely speak gothic show up, and suddenly there are Xenos and heretics everywhere. I know the official story is that they showed up to help, but I lived here my whole life and I never once seen no demons or robo-skeletons. Fake news, Dodgif. And then there's these marines. Emperor's angels, my ass. They're great athletes, sure, but every one of them steals. Bishop even had to ban them from Angel's Landing. I also ain't never seen one of them put in a single day of work. When they ain't fighting, they just lounge around, steal, or strut around in that blinged out armor of theirs. Meanwhile, they eat up our food that my taxes pay for. Welfare Marines, JPEG. But now, I'm getting mine out of some of these damned interlopers. When me and my kin was out crusading for the bishop, we found us some real sissy Xenos in some crashed ship. The little fellers can't take a goddamn punch. But their guns sure are nice. The Mechanicus says we can't use weapons like this. But I don't give a damn what those Forge World elitists say. It's my emperor given right to protect myself. Corvette Cowboys Dodgif. So we brought some of these little blue boys back home and put them to work. They started complying pretty easy once Cousin Davis had some time with them. Even got one of them speaking human. Got them cranking out more stuff. They're gonna be on my damn planet. They're gonna work. And if those damn Melta boys think they getting my guns, drones, or anything else I need to protect my land, they got another thing coming. My cold dead hands, Dodd PNG. Got some city boys that been coming through to buy the stuff off me. I never much trusted the boys from the capital, but these fellers are at least from the planet and they served in the crusade. Their thrones spend that's good enough for me. Be me, Ashley the Bound Slaneshi Demon Host. And if I wasn't bound in this body, I could make this planet scream, moan so loud that they'd hear it two systems over. Normally, when a sorcerer binds a Slaneshi Demon Prince S into a host, they have something fun in mind. But not this guy. I've been stuck at his side for 70 years, and he's never touched me. Not that I want him to. I hate him. It's just that, like, I'm bound, so nothing I can do. Friendzone.warp. He's not even fun to mess with like one of those desperate Imperial Inquisitors that makes a demon host. He just smiles at the creepy stuff I saw because he says he's, like, totally into chaos. But after all this time and, like, all I have done for him, he won't even commit to Slanesh. Keeps yammering on about how special it is to keep chaos undivided. How he's going to spread their gospel on this planet, and that he doesn't want to be tied down. He's such a player, Dot Heresy. Not that I even want him to commit. I mean, I'm a demon, so I totally just hate him for binding me and want him dead. But he keeps on surviving because he's just such a talker. And he's so smart and he keeps in really good shape. And he's just so confident in the way he just, like, grabs the warp and makes it his. Bending it to his will like some sort of conquering god. Me who thirsts, dot demon. And like, I tell him all the time that once I get unbound, I'm going to flay him alive no matter what. So he may as well have his fun while he can. Like, whether or not he ravishes me, or like, makes me be his girlfriend, or makes me cuddle with this stupid weak human body, I'm gonna kill him in the end anyway. So he should just make me do that stuff. But he says this host body just isn't his type. No dick dot host? Then why did he pick it? 